Well, there, you know, that's been the evolution is that as these incidents have occurred, and unfortunately we have, you know, far too much experience, uh, you know, as a nation with those kind of things. But uh, in the assessment of what's happened and what the best response is, the best response is go in immediately and engage because you know, bad things are going to happen until that uh, person is stopped. That's completely the opposite of what it was 20 years ago mm -hmm. when, when Columbine and, and you know the response was to set up a perimeter yeah. and secure that and of course that takes a lot of Wait time. Wait for back yeah. mm -hmm. So the the, uh, the protocol is to respond uh, immediately and it doesn't come obviously without a, a great deal of risk because number one you don't know who you're engaging you don't know how many you're engaging and it's very difficult to sort out as was the case in Florida where this guy kind of blended in with the students and you know walked away it's really hard to tell who's the good guy who's the bad guy who's you know uh, and outside of that we've you know on the department uh, a couple years ago now um, we implemented this system so anybody can respond to these things who's ever closest off-duty people if they you know they'll receive a page that says active shooter situation the real downside is is uh, when everybody's responding and everybody is not waiting before going in uh, you're gonna have police officers in plain clothes with guns yeah uh, and you're not going to be able to tell right know, it's not a cohesive uh, response right that is the the downside of that so when you when you have like this and I don't know you know what the circumstances in Florida were where they say there were you know three officers waiting uh, there can be a lot of confusion over is somebody in there are the police in there are there you know, are they uniformed? Are they not uniformed? And trying to figure that out, communication is just a huge part of that. But the downside is communication takes a while to sort all that out, right. and you don't have a while. So know. is uh, is it true that uh, I was talking to a friend whose dad was in law enforcement for a long time, and he says it can be dangerous to have uh, that training that changes so abruptly because, like the officer that or the deputy that was close to retirement, he in the he had training one way for decades and decades and decades yeah. and then it changed suddenly can that play into it well it can I mean you, you develop your own people you develop your mindsets your paradigms about how things are done uh, you know like I say when uh, back when I started on in the department there was a whole different mindset number one there wasn't a mindset about school shootings or active shooters uh, that just wasn't part of the vocabulary and when it developed it developed as kind of this mindset of control the situation control perimeters secure that and through very unfortunate but too much experience we learned that too many people get hurt too many people die when right. you do that and so there's this constant balance of you know if you if you run in there right away um, the risks are really high you're going to be the guy with the gun that nobody recognizes as a cop. On the other hand, if you're not doing that, you have a situation like Florida where people could be saved. And I, I, you know, I know from you know, everybody's personal feelings about what the best response is, What we all situations are different. You can't plan that in advance, or certainly not to any degree. So you come up with a protocol and you try to react to that to the best you can and you do it recognizing that uh, that is not safe for anybody you you can be increasing a lot of risk uh, at the same time you're trying to mitigate the risk for a lot of people so uh, there's not a right way and I'm certainly not you know defending what occurred in in Florida but um, that's one of the most difficult situations and I think we all recognized how we react to that what we actually do because I know I you know I've heard a lot of the the, the commentary and, uh, you know I think the sheriff even said you know if I was there I would have done this well the fact mm -hmm. is you don't know